great, guys. Look what we got here. I've had, I think I've had five or six of these this year. A Honda Easy Start HR194. And uh, it won't start. It's got gas in it. Um, the choke and the throttle seems to work okay on it. Up here. Uh, down here. Let me just get you guys focused in on the choke. If I can. Maybe not. Oh, cheer, cheer, cheer. Okay, the choke lever is this little guy here. This is the throttle, and that's the choke. So you should actually see them both moving, but the one on the right is the choke. So there I think it's closed. And there it's open. So it actually should start in either position, and it won't. I guess I could... I can show you that. It's been sitting all night. I, I did I did go out to the shed and change out the pull rope. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Change out <laughs> the pull rope. You can see that there. It's got no spring in it or, or, or rope. But I just happen to have one, so let's just see what happens here. So then it kicks a couple of times and then that's it. And I I will not I will be honest with you. I uh, put a spark detector on it and it looks it looks weak and intermittent. So uh, let's tell you, I'm gonna do that again because you're here. Just for you, my friends. This spark plug, you know who you are, uh, was given to me by a good friend who I've never met. <laughs> Isn't that nuts? So if I ground that, we should see a spark right there. And I don't know if you guys can, uh, well, let's just get you right in here if you can. Right on that spark plug, baby. So this machine was given to me. Okay, can you guys see that at all? I think you can. Very, very weak, if anything at all. Can I feel it? I won't go too fast. Just a, okay, so if that was a good coil, that would have made me, whoop. This would make me jump right here. And I can feel it. And then it's gone. So, I think it needs a coil. So let's get the hood off and we'll change the coil. And we'll also check the wiring in the coil because sometimes they, they have a little screw in. The, the, it looks like a coax cable from your TV, but it isn't because it's got a stranded wire, not a solid wire. But here, all of these guys just screw together into the cable. It's kind of old fashioned. So I'm just going to take the cover off. There, 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 and there. And we'll come back. trying to do a better job on my filming after eight years of being on YouTube. I'll tell you, one of the, the hardest thing for me is, uh, okay, everything's under control, I got the camera on, I got a plan, then I get, I find the trouble or I get close to it and I forget the camera's on, I turn my back and away I go. <laughs> so I'm going to, just a minute, I'm going to put my lab coat on and uh, we'll come back. Oh, I'm going to take the, put my lab coat on, take that cover off, and I try and make my work clothes last as long as I can. And uh, those lab coats really help.
It's got my lab coat on. I haven't done anything else yet. Um, here, how do I look? Good enough to go to a wedding, eh? Nobody gets married anymore. So I'll be back when I get to the top of this Honda off. Ah, uh, heck, you might as well watch, eh? I dropped this drill. This isn't the one that Zippo gave me. This is one of the ones I bought. And this battery smashed all over the place. To about 10 pieces. So I thought, what the heck? And I put a couple of screws in it and I crazy glued the whole thing into one big ma massive block of plastic. But it still works. And you're not going to take these apart anyway. Nowadays you just get a new one. I've tried on the old drills, I've tried, you know, uh, arraying the batteries together. But it's really hard to do. Uh, so anyway, I'll just use this now. So here we go. Blah, blah, blah. I digress. We don't need this test plug in here anymore, do we? <laughs> now these ones, because I've done so many of this, so many of these lawnmowers this year. I know exactly what to do and what not to do as far as taking them apart, but this is the one, you can run this one on the stand because this is the independent brake clutch. So you push this down like that, right? And then the blade turns. So these are nice to work on because you, once you release the, bra the blade clutch, you can run the engine without the blade turning. You hope. You can't trust it because if there's a st something sticking, it'll turn. But it's a little safer. And I like these little lawnmowers, except for the fact they're a 20 inch lawnmower and they are heavy. But that's good. So I wonder when I'm ever going to work on this thing. When am I get going? Gas tank, gas cap has to come off over top of that grommet, that big ugly grommet. Get a new one of those. Let's put the gas cap back on. I don't know if I'm losing fuel or not, guys. There's no wetness there. I put some gas in it yesterday just to see if it would go. You got to try, right? Okay, coil replacement. Now, to confess, most of the coils I have came off of old, old Honda clone generators, right? So let's just do this together. Put you back on the chair. Filming 101. Don't stand in front of the camera. Unplug the We'll unplug this. This is the wire that this is the wire that shuts the shuts it off right there. So a ground comes down from the from the throttle, and when you turn the engine off, it puts a ground on here, which puts a ground on there, which stops the spark plug from igniting the from igniting. There we go. So now let's get this coil off of here. That's all there is to it. So give this a try, you guys. Now, my benefit is that I've been collecting parts for years. So I got a, now, <laughs> let's just get a, a felt pen and mark this one so that we know. And just put a, a blue something mark on here because sometimes when you're, when you're checking out coils, they, uh, it's easy to get them mixed up. Let's do one on the top, too. And you can see okay? 
So now the big thing is the circumference of the flywheel. I kind of was digging this one. Flywheel is the same, circumference is the same. But there's a polarity on the magnets of the flywheel, and if they're not right, you won't get a spark. I'm kind of digging this one. Okay, that one will fit. I bet for most of them will fit. <laughs> Chopped the end off that one already. So let's go here, 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 here. So why is this one cut off? I think I needed it. So I'm not going to go for that one just yet. This is a generator one. <clears throat> and it looks like it's got a tap on one of the coils. That's pretty weird. So this way, this way, this way. That would be fun if this one would work, eh? I'm not in love with this cap. Oh, hey, hey! <laughs> That's kind of weirdness, eh? Yeah, I thought that was one piece. How's the length? A little bit longer, which is kind of nice. I'm going to try this one. I'm going to ignore this little blue guy. I wonder if it's soldered on there. No. Nope. This one should be pulled off. No. Here. Oh, it is soldered on there too, by gosh. <laughs> but we have... Well, I really want to try this one. I also want to try this one. Will it even, will it even become close? pretty close. So let me just muck around here for a bit. All right guys, we're going to have a little fun. This coil came off a Kohler. I've taken the spark plug out so uh, we're not going to hurt anything and we're just going to pop this together. I got my spacer in there. Let's just try something. Oh. Right. The, uh, the, old, the old coil has a shorter throw, I think. I'm, I've got lots of bolts, so I'm going to have to just turn you off for a minute. Yeah. So I need something about a centimeter shorter than these. How about these? Just, that'll hold it. this works, I'm going to uh, get better bolts. This little drill is just about dead, battery-wise. So now we're going to see if we got a spark. We might as well use our, uh, our easy schmeezy one here. Look at the length of that. Do you think we'll see a spark? That'd be fun. Now, don't worry, nothing can start up because I've got the spark plug out, right? Nothing. Wow, I can turn it over. Could be just a bad coil too, right? 
And this isn't grounded, so we're okay. Let's just turn that over. Make sure this isn't grounded too. And we'll give her a spin. I'd laugh like heck if we got a spark, eh? Gotta go the other way. I just see something small. Yeah, there's not enough there. But that was fun. So take that off. Put it back in the cooler box. There's a tickle there, eh? I'm just going to turn it over one more time. Because sometimes the spark's hard to see, eh? You might even... You can tell I don't have any customers. This lawnmower was given to me. I don't have any customer jobs right now. So This is when you'll, you know, you sit back and play and learn. And believe me, with lawnmowers, there's always lots to learn. Okay, let's see what we got. I'll look a little closer. Nothing. Okay, remove said item. But I'm not done playing, and if I find one that's oddball, I'll get you back here. Alright, this coil came out came out of my Honda bag. So it was like a Honda clone situation happening. I've got it plugged in with the shutoff there. And uh, I got a spark on the plug. We'll just do that again. Well, ground, this is the one I'm going to put back in, right? Nothing's going to start up because I don't have the plug jammed in. And let's get you focused right in on that. Now, can you see that? There we are. You can see it. It's not a bright spark. So I'm going to put, put this all back together and we're going to see if we get a go. I'm just going to slightly glue this together with some bolts on the uh, We'll have a look. The one thing I don't like about these old Hondas, chatter chatter, babble babble, <laughs> is that on the shroud you gotta take two of the valve cover bolts out. Right? Can't cross thread them. Good. I'm not going to worry about the grommet for the gas tank just yet. I've got to get that spark plug put back in there. Oh, I pinched it. Oh, sin. Okay, that's all right. I think we got it. So I have had more Honda coil issues this year. I think, you know what? I think they quit running. People put them in the shed. They can't get rid of it because it's a Honda, but they know if they sell it, they're not going to get anything for it. So they just sit on it. And this year is the year of the Honda. That's maybe the, the uh, what I'll call the, the video. And you, okay, that should work. I do not like that boot. 
burnt. So now, let's zoom back out. Uh, <coughs> sort of choke. Do you think we got it? I bet you a thousand Bruce Bucks. I haven't seen one of these that doesn't puff out a bit of blue smoke on startup. So there, I'm going to shorten the boot a little bit. Not as short as the old one. Cool! Now we're going to check out the old one too. So before we get confused with what's what, So, I got the spark plug boot finally figured out. On the new coil, the old coil was no good. I, I thought it might be the connection on the boot, and it's not. So I'm just changing the oil, and I'm gonna sharpen the blade while I got it on its side. Thanks. And the blade comes off with a little bit of air. Might as well do it right now. It's gonna be a 14 mil. And to oh my soup, sorry. I just tilted it on the side. And you can't see because of the door. And the blade actually does not look that bad. It just hasn't been sharpened in a very long time. And on two or three of these this year, I have seen this, this blade adapter upside down. Eh? So I'm just gonna pull out the sharpener and sharpen this up and we should have a, we should have a runner. Can't forget to put oil in though. So this coil is no good. Garbage. Hard to do that. I worked hard to get that thing going and I wouldn't, no matter what I tried, eh? so finally I diverted and uh, used a coil, for, oops, I diverted and used a coil from the uh, clone pile, from the Honda clones. So that's the proper way to put these blades on and then I just, th this is a very weak gun, it's a Harbor Freight Princess Auto type. One-handed, just for you. Good. And now we just got to put some oil in it, and I think we're done. All right, we're done. But earlier, I found this in the gas cap, and it fell out. And what that's going, what that's going to do, actually, is that's going to. Uh, seal off the venting because there's a vent if you look carefully there's a vent there and a vent on the other side there and a vent in the middle and that 
this black washer will seal that off and you'll get like holding your finger on the end of a straw that's the that's about the only way I can describe that so let's do a demo now out on the floor in the real world and let's just give it a go throttle whoops okay can you see yes you can So at least now it does everything it's supposed to do. It sure didn't like being turned on its side. So thanks again for this crazy, video, crazy video, guys. An intermittent coil. That's one of the hardest problems to find.